Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm back with another part of Animal Crossing. Happy Home Paradise. Um, we're going to play a little bit with the new DLC. So uh, let's go. I also changed my work outfit a little bit. I think it's kind of cute. But before we start we should always check the items here. Mm, I don't think I want any of those. So let's talk to Lottie. What's up? Are you looking for some kind of uh, for some work, Sarah? I'm ready to work. Okay, then please change into your uniform. Yeah, let's just get to another client. I feel like we need to go with her, but I want to s to see the other seams as well. Of course, I'm always picking the theme that is the most interesting to me. Mm, I think that's it. Oh, there's a message bottle. Mm. So I think that's my third vine recipe, which is really cool. They, um, they're lying around here on the island, which is very nice and um yeah let's start with i don't know your name with lily hi there i'm lily you design vacation homes right you know i've been looking for a vacation home on one of the islands around here could you help me sure oh really that's great let's strike while the iron is hot shall we so I'm really into like nature and cozy themes. So this sounds like a theme that I would really enjoy. Thanks for your time today. I think I'd like for my vacation home to look something like this. And I'm really excited for the new furniture we get. Okay, seems interesting. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, Sarah. So let's see, um, as you can see, I did some more, uh, I did some more clients on the weekend. I had some fun with it. I think I did Ali and Chester and Stu and Gloria and Lucy. So I did some, some houses. So she wants um, a calm clearing in the nature. So which lot could be the best for this? Hmm, that's difficult. I mean, the island is kind of cool. I don't know if I like too many like um, different layers. That looks interesting. I think I might try this one. I think that looks pretty interesting. Seems like a lovely spot. I can't wait to see it in person today. Now Lily we found an excellent location for you, but you need to see it for yourself before we begin. Sarah, please lead Lily to the side and best of luck. So this is where I'll be vacationing, huh? It's like a dream come true. I can't wait to see the finished home. Well, I leave you to it. I appreciate it and I appreciate you too. So this is going to be Lily's new home. I think it's a very beautiful lot. I'm not sure if I want to keep... I think I'm going to put the house right there. I think that looks best. Like in front of this opening. And 
And I need to get the vibe of her house, so I need to see all the items that she wants. So, a froggy chair. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Um, let's see. So I think um, I'm just going to place some items that I want to use. That look um, interesting to me. Hmm. Oh, I love all the plants that we got. So, and now we can use fruit trees as well. That's also great. I might stick to the normal trees. And I also just found out that you can change the size of the or the growing stage of the different trees. I think that's kind of cool. Because I think tiny trees are so cute, like this tiny. <laughs> I think that's just so adorable. So I'm just going to randomly place some trees here. And um, yeah, just try to figure out how I want everything to be. I'm not sure about this stone. But let's just change the outside of the house really quick. Um, I think I want a different shape. And I kind of like this shape. And it's really hard for me not to always do the same <laughs> theme because I'm really into like, I don't know, like forest, cozy cabin vibes. That's just totally what I love. But it's really hard not to do that on every build. So yeah, I'm trying my best here to not do that. I think that's a cute uh, house shape. Um, I think I'm going to go for a more bright color on the outside or maybe a colorful version. This looks very cute. Hmm, that's difficult. That matches her her color. <laughs> um, but I think yeah, I think I'm going to choose this one. And I think the door is all right. And something on the outside. Is there like uh, any good color? Hmm. I'm not really into those colors. I'm going to use this one. Didn't know you could change the color on it. But I think it's cute. And the roof. I think this one fits the best. So let's uh, go ahead and... Yeah, where do we start? Do we need a fence? Maybe. Just some parts of a fence. I don't know, maybe right here, right here. Or maybe there's so many cute fences. Maybe this one. I like this one. Mm -hmm. 
So the noise from this thing is really annoying. <laughs> I was just wondering what that noise is, but it's this water bamboo thing. But I think it's really, it looks really nice. Maybe put it right there. Or right there. Kind of like it, but I don't like this stone. I don't think I want the stone. Do we want any fruit trees? I actually don't think so. But we need bushes. That's for sure. And maybe some bamboo. I think that would fit as well. I'm gonna put some right here. And there, different um, sizes. Or maybe there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a bunch of hybrid flowers now. That's awesome. I wish it was that easy to get those flowers on my island. But it's pretty difficult. And it takes so much time. But I'm really excited to finally use all of them. Mm, I'm not sure which colors I'm looking for. Maybe purple. I like purple flowers. Or maybe the um, black ones. I'm also really into black flowers. Especially the tulips. So I'm just randomly putting some of them around the space here. So, and some bushes. Just putting some plants all around the yard just creates just a very, I don't know, natural cozy feeling. Um, I think we might put like something to sit outside. I think that could be a good idea. Don't think I'm going to use the froggy chair. Well, I would love to use this, but it's so big. But maybe... I don't know, I think it just really fits into this yard. So I think I'm going to put it right here. I kind of like it, maybe a little bit over here to save some space. I think that's cute. Um, do we need this? I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, it's pretty big and it looks kind of weird. So we're not going to use it. But I want something to sit outside, so there's nothing really in this um, section. So let's see what we can put outside to maybe sit on. Maybe some lock stools. Kind of like them. Maybe like in a brighter color. As well as, yeah, any kind of table, maybe this iron table. No, I'm not into it. Like, I don't think it really fits. 
there any other kind of table we have? Also like this bamboo thing. Maybe we can put it somewhere, maybe right here. Yeah, that's a difficult uh, decision. What about this table? I mean, it's kind of cute, but I think it's very childish and it doesn't really fit into this yard. I'm not really into it. Um, is there anything else? I feel like all the tables are so big. Maybe we don't need a table. I think we can we can skip the table and just have like this little sitting area right there. Don't think we um need it. We can also make a little picnic area. That would be cute. Let's make a picnic area. I have a picnic blanket, I think. Um I think I want to move this bush just one tile. I think I have a picnic blanket design that could be cute as well. So maybe this one. Or I think this one could be better, like the brown one. Nope, that's not what I wanted. The tool went out of control. So I think that's cute, like this little picnic blanket and then we can put on some, I don't know, some, a pillow to have something to sit on and maybe some, I don't know, a cutting board for a picnic. I think that could be cute. Mm -hmm. And maybe some other food. Maybe this kettle. I love how easy it is to um, switch between the different color options. But I really wish it would be that easy for your own, for your own house. Like that you don't have to buy all the customization kits and everything and always go to the workbench. And yeah, it's just really time consuming and really annoying. I wish it would be just like, like this. I think that would be cool. So what else can we put there? Something to eat, maybe a salmon bagel sandwich. Does it fit right here? It does. And now ki she can have a cute little like picnic in her yard, which I think is awesome. Um, I think we need some kind of paths. I don't have that many paths designs, so I don't know. Let's see what we can 
what we can do maybe like something like this it's kind of simple but I think it's cute maybe like this And I just didn't realize in my last video that we can also use weeds to decorate our uh, our, our um, yard. So we can use a um, clump of weeds, which I think is awesome. And we can also change like the different stages of it. And I love to decorate with weeds. I think it just looks so more so much more natural. And I will probably never get rid of my weeds on my island. I, I'm not going to do that. I, f I think Leaf always... He just asked me the last time I visited um, his shop if I want to get rid of all my weed weeds but I'm not going to do that because it looks just beautiful and I love it so let's put it all over this yard and make it overgrown and cute I think it looks cute I hope you like it as well um, I don't think this tree should be so big I think that's fine can we have any more bamboo? Yeah, right there. Yeah, for some people it might be a little bit too too much, but I really like it to have like a lot um, of items. Can we put something right there? Oh, I didn't know this part belongs to the lot. That's awesome. So I don't know, I'm going to just put this bamboo thing there. I think it's cute. Um, Yeah, I think we're done on the outside. Or is there anything else we can put here? Maybe... Um, some more flowers? I don't know. I think I'm good with the black tulips. Uh, what I also like is that you can change the stage of the flowers, the growth stage. I think they look really nice when they're not fully grown, when they look like this. I think that's cute. So let's put some more here. And yeah, I think we're done on the outside. It looks cute. Um, do I want to change the day time? Maybe early morning. I think that looks really calm and I don't know. I like that. Or maybe evening. I think I'm going to go into the morning I think that's good so let's go inside I'm really um, excited to see all the furniture that I can use now <coughs> oh what this I didn't know this home was going to have two rooms this room is divided by an original paradise planning petition wall. You can use a petition with the same design as the wall to section of a room however you like. Just let us know if you'd like to give it a try. So that's what this is. Who would have thought? It'd be nice if you'd work one into the design of my place. I hear you. As far as using petition walls or not, we will leave it to Sarah. 
I probably could have told you about this feature earlier, but I kind of wanted to surprise you. See, the partition wall was my idea. I'd be so happy if you find it useful as you design homes. You find the option by pressing um, and looking in other, so bust it out if you want to div divide up a room. After you place it, you can move it the same way as furniture. Try out a bunch of different stuff with it. Okay, I'll be waiting out in the yard for you to finish. Make us proud. So that's something new. I really like it. I think it's a great thing to have the option to divide the rooms. So let's see what we have here for... Now we can just move it. That's awesome. Not sure. I think I'm going to keep it like this, but I'm going to change. I cannot change the room size, which is great. I'm going to make it a little smaller. But uh, also a little wider, so I think that looks better. I don't want to make it too big. So now we can have like two different um yeah, areas. Maybe like a sleeping area and a living area. I think that would be great. Um maybe we make the living area um the sleeping area a little bit smaller. I think that's also really great for maybe like build houses with the bathroom and stuff like that i think that would be awesome so let's see what we can do on the inside uh yeah i always have to start with the wallpaper to get like a feeling for everything so i feel like a lot of um villagers want to have their house built like they're on the outside and not on the inside um I think I'm going for this bamboo vibe. I think that looks looks kind of cool. But I'm going to take this flooring. So we're not going to create an outside space again. We're going to stick to an inside space. So I think we should start on the live uh, on the. I think we should start on the sleeping area. I think this is going to be the sleeping area. So let's find her a nice bed. Do we have anything nice? Probably not too big. Mm, which one? Nope. Maybe we take like this garden lounge chair thing. I don't know. I don't feel like anything else fits somehow. So with the light wood color, I think that kind of fits with the bamboo theme. And we can put this plant over there as well. Yeah, I like that. So what else? I think we need a ceiling light. I feel like it's very dark in this area. Oh, and we also have this stuff whatever this is but it looks kind of interesting so maybe we can put some of it in this area right here mm. 
Mm, yeah, I think the green fits best. I really like this wooden lamp. I think it it also fits the seam kind of. Maybe we can pick a different wood color, maybe a brighter one. Yeah, I like that. So what else can we do? Maybe like a nightstand or something. That's cute. And a candle. And probably some kind of carpet, but I also want this. I, I think this looks super cute. I'm gonna hang it right here, like over the bed. And some kind of carpet. I always have to put carpets in houses, like a bunch of carpets, because it just makes everything just way more cozy in my opinion so I'm thinking about this one just because I don't like it and I feel like I should use more stuff that I wouldn't use um, that I just wouldn't use in my house so <laughs> I'm just gonna put it there I think it's, it's still kind of cute so maybe a closet or something don't think we have like a bamboo closet but this could also be cute as like a little petition or maybe we put it right here to just create this little separation a little bit more I kind of like it or maybe over there Nope, that's not what I wanted. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I'm just messing up everything. <laughs> I want this to be there. And I want the plan to be over there. So this is what I wanted. And I'm going to put this ball thing here as well. So, let's see, what else can we put in this bedroom area? I would like to have any kind of closet, but I'm not sure which one. There's no bamboo closet, of course. <laughs> Maybe this could be a cute option um yeah i think that could be that could work i don't like how it's not aligning with the wall there's so much space um behind it so that's nothing i i love but yeah i think it fits within like this little bedroom area I kind of like it so this could be good for the living room I'm gonna put it there can we change the color of this humidifier um, I think something more natural would be good maybe this color so for the living room let's start with like a sitting area i would totally do this but it's taking up so much space maybe we can also make a little kitchen area with this thing right here 
that is also not aligning with the wall which is really annoying um, and we can also I don't think we have that many kitchen themed items which is a little bit unfortunate um, but I think we can use this lamp again in the living area I think it fits pretty well let's move this over a little bit so where's something that would fit into a kitchen I mean we have an outdoor kitchen and like a workbench But nothing that looks like kitchen too much. So we might have to improvise a little bit. I'm gonna take this table. And put it there. For the kitchen area I think that's that could work. Maybe some... I don't know, I think we have like this hanging shelf, this hanging kitchen shelf, I think that fits pretty well. Let's take this white and brown one. I think we can also change the color of only one of the walls. So maybe we make it a different color. Mm, how do we do that? I have no idea. Nope. Oh, I like this carpet. That looks cute. Can place it in the living area. Maybe right in the front. That's a very difficult seam. I'm not really feeling this too much. But I kind of like the little sleeping area. I think it needs something on the wall. Maybe some dried flowers. Can we not put something on this wall? No. That's too bad. So now we need... Um... We have some kitchen items. What do we have? Like we have some food stuff. I don't know. Maybe we put. Oh yeah. Some. Maybe this basket. I think it's kind of cute. Is there any matching colors? No. I don't like the color options for it. Um. I, I do like this basket. I think I'm going to put it right on this table. And what else? Maybe maybe this bread basket. I think that's also really fitting. So now we need like a sofa. somewhere up here this is a bench but it looks like a table I'm gonna yeah. use this as a little living room table but we also need a little sofa maybe this one I think it's cute 
I do really like the Nordic um, furniture series. I think it was in New Leaf as well and I think it had like one of the prettiest items. I really liked it personally. So what can we put on it? Mm. Maybe like a green pattern. Doesn't fit too much with the bamboo seam to be honest. Maybe this one. I think that could work better with the light wood color option. And this design for the pillows. I think that fits a little bit better. And maybe some more sitting possibilities. Let's take this simple stool in white. I feel like it's more of a cream color. I think that looks really beautiful. Put it right there. I think that looks kind of cozy. Mm, what about this? I think that looks better. And do we have any cute carpet for this area? Maybe something, probably something green. You can also use mm, something not too small. Maybe like this simple avocado mat. But I don't like the color. It's not really green. It's more like a brown color. Yeah, that doesn't look too good as well. Maybe the bamboo mat. Maybe we use this moss rug again. That was not what I wanted. I kind of like it. So let's see what we can put on the wall. They're pretty empty. Mm. Of course some plants. So this coconut ball planter fits pretty well. And maybe this wall planter. I think it's super cute. And what else can we put there? Maybe a clock. I feel like I've used this clock in all of my houses that I um, did so far. So I think that's cute. This video is also being um, probably going to be really long again. But yeah, I don't know how to make it any shorter. I just take some time to furnish a house so I hope you don't mind that too much. What about this dry flower thing? I think that's also cute. Let's put it right there. So now we also have some space for a little dining area. I think that would make a lot of sense. So do we have a small table? Let's take this one. With a little... Like this. And put it right there. I think this house is coming together pretty well. I do like how it looks so far. So also let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoy the game. If you already have the DLC. If you like it. I have a lot of fun playing with it. And I also can't wait to make more videos with it. I think it's so much fun to decorate all those different houses and I'm also really excited for the different facilities that we can decorate later 
like I already did the school which I think is not finished yet but we can probably decorate even more facilities in the future so I'm really excited for that let's put some food on the table and I also need a space for this thing I have no idea where to put it so do we have like any type of shelf or something maybe a little bookshelf would be cute let's try this one I think that's cute. I hope she likes it. It's not all bamboo stuff, but I don't think I have s that many bamboo items right now, so I think that's cute, but I might move the table over a little bit. To the side. I think that's cute. I really like this um, room divider thing. That's a very cool um, way to decorate even better houses. I also like those. I'm going to put it maybe around here as like more of a divider. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, let me know what you think. I think this um, is a very cute house. Um, I need to put something on those um, on one of the walls and then I think I might be done with it. I need more wall items. Yeah, I think I think I'm I think I've, I'm finished. So let's talk to her. So how's my vacation home coming along? Is it ready yet? It is ready. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time and effort you put into this. You've made me so happy today. Yeah, I mean, she looks really happy, so I hopefully did a good job on that. Thank you so much. I'd never be able to make my room this nice if I did it myself today. Feel free to hang out and relax a bit if you have time, Sarah. Go right ahead. I must admit, I'm a bit nervous about being caught in a photo unprepared, but please feel free to take as many as you like today. Okay, so this um, is going to be the end of the video. I'm not going to record any more things because it's very long and I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I hope I will see you in my next video and I also hope you have a great day and goodbye.